X would be would would serve people's financial needs to such a degree that over time it would become I don't know maybe half of the global financial system going to a different economy, and we're going to be learning more about that uh, as we go. But clearly, we're 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 learning that things can be done uh, from remote, remote locations. We're learning that technology can replace people even more than we thought. We're not going back to the same economy. We're going. We're recovering, but to a different economy, and it'll be one that is more leveraged to technology. And I worry that that is going to make it even more difficult than it was for for many workers. In Silicon Valley, and my friends who work in technology know that what we did to the manufacturing workers, we are now going to do to the retail workers, the call center workers, the fast food workers, the truck drivers, and then even bookkeepers, accountants, uh, insurance agents, lawyers, and on and on through the economy. So what happened to the manufacturing workers is a very clear sign. And so we'll import Chinese-based CBDC technology. So it's going to be CBDC in a box uh, provided to you by the People's Bank of China. But every stock, every bond, every currency, every commodity, every piece of art, every private business, every piece of real estate will eventually be a token on a blockchain, an entry on a ledger, permanent and immutable. We will have truth instead of trust, and we will save over $7 trillion a year. Six to eight percent of global GDP is wasted by the friction of the trust industry that's necessary when you have dual entry accounting. With triple entry accounting, which is what a blockchain is, Mm -hmm. we get rid of all of that friction. It's a beautiful future. Like what you see in China and their social credit scoring systems, right? If we get identity wrong, you know, it could be a tool to enslave humanity. And if we get it right, it could be a tool to liberate humanity as an American. You know, uh, uh, I'm obviously rooting for the, the one that's on the side of freedom. Bitcoin is an international asset. And also, I do believe the role of crypto is, um, it is, it, it is it's digitizing gold. I actually believe this technology is going to be very important. I am, I, you know, look at it. We have been part of a huge revolution in investing through ETFs. We believe that ETFs will be changing the whole way we invest. Many people still use it as a means, well, people are investing it f- for indexing. No, the majority of people who are putting money in an index, in an ETFs are active investors that are buying exposure. The entire bond market is being transformed as we talk right now. I believe the next generation for markets, the next generation for securities will be, will be tokenization of securities. Um, we will, and if we can have that distributed ledger that we know every beneficial owner, every beneficial s- seller, we all have our, our, our code right. of who's buying, who's selling, instantaneous settlement. And think about it, it changes the whole ecosystem. Welcome, Welcome to the Crypto, crypto teacher. teacher. And guys, please like and subscribe if you do like what you're listening to. Please inform your friends and family and spread all over social media. It is imperative that we get back to learning finances and understand how the world really works because once we understand how the world really works, we understand that it is all planned out. Now, I want to thank those who purchased the books Crypto Teacher and the New Road Order book. Remember, the New World Order book shows you how the world really works, and it is definitely time for you to wake up out of that sleep, especially in the times that we're in right now. Now, guys, I told you in 2023, in the first quarter, we would get an event, and now we have the banking collapse, which the master magicians pulled off the perfect distraction. And at the end of the third quarter, going into the fourth quarter, guys, We're going to have another main event. Now, of course, the markets will still pump and dump until we get that next crisis. Guys, we know they're going to pull that rug. And all we have to do is watch the Fed to know exactly when that's about to happen. And also, guys, I want to thank those who purchased the three kids' books. It's time to re-educate. Also, much love to those who donate to the Cash Shop Patreon. Much love. Keep it coming. Guys, if you're not a part of the Patreon, make sure you're donating to the channel through the actual Cash App. We all know this channel is Shadow Band. 
Now, guys, in my Patreon, I keep you up to date with the New World Order events. And then also, I give you the New World Order cryptos. But, of course, you have to do your own research. But, guys, this next Bitcoin and crypto bull run is going to be a utility run. So, you want to make sure you have the cryptos that have real utility. And much love to those who are shopping at both stores. Keep it coming. And of course, guys, we get into Bitcoin and cryptos first. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And right now, guys, we have Bitcoin and crypto slightly pulling back. We know on the weekend we're the only game in town, but we haven't been getting any liquidity. Now, guys, do not forget to pay attention to the actual indicators. We have yield rates on Friday move lower. Guys, we know anytime we get over that 4% that 10-year yield, we're going to be pulling back. We have the dollar pull back slightly. We have volume and crypto low. We have Tether and USDC. And we have Tether and Bitfinex class action lawsuit dismissed. And we have Tether now as 11 largest Bitcoin holder in the world. And guys, we know they're helping out the Fed buying treasuries. And we know stable coins are the foundation of crypto. Remember guys, the plan, it moves in phases. And then, of course, guys, we have the Fed. The repo at $1.79 trillion. Make sure you're pulling that on a daily basis because that's now an indicator. Let us know which way the market is going. And, guys, we know the central banks are raising rates and running off the balance sheet in order to destroy this legacy market so the fourth industrial revolution can rise. Whether robots, algorithms, and drones take the economy over, pay each other with crypto, and the sheep go inside the metaverse. And guys, make sure you watch the video I did last night. It's so important. But when we look at the United States debt, guys, it's really not debt because we have the world reserve currency. We're printing the money. And that's how the NWO took over the globe. Now that all these countries are now moving off the United States dollar, now the United States has to turn this debt into equity. And it's going to be easy to do because why? Because now we're moving into tokenization. And they will be able to hand out free money like Ray Dalio stated. And that's the reason why we have all these UBI programs going on, not just in the United States, but around the globe. And remember the crypto teacher told you. Now, guys, do not forget about Grayscale. It was about $24.2 billion yesterday. And we have Valkyrie files to add Ethereum to its Bitcoin fund. But getting over into a little crypto news, we have Coinbase sites Ripple case in motion to dismiss the SEC lawsuit. And of course, the judge ruled that XRP is not a security when sold on exchanges. But guys, we know this is all a movie. Get your popcorn, sit back, and let it play out. And speaking of the movie, we have Bank of Russia presents digital rubles logo and commission fees and it will be free to use until the end of 2024 and guys we know they're going to dangle that carrot to get everybody aboard and then of course the fees start up in 2025 and we know that's when the united states is going to flip the switch on this beginning of the fourth industrial revolution the emerging markets are going to flip the switch next year and remember the crypto teacher told you now, we have Elon Musk claims X will never launch a crypto token. And guys, we know they don't have to. We, Chad, and Alipay don't have their own token. We know the only thing they have to do is integrate a token. Remember, they're bringing the platform, the one-stop shop. And lastly, guys, we have a new hearing set on whether to put the bank man in jail pre-trial. And guys, we know he only has a few months. I think the trial starts in October. But we know starting in September and all next year, the NWO is going to step up its distractions. We know we hear the drums are beating. We know that main event is coming. But then, guys, we know it's a presidential year. We have the Trump cases. And we know the NWO are the master magicians. So do not fall for the distraction and stay in the lab so therefore you don't fall for the devil's tricks. And remember the crypto teacher told you because he knows when it comes to the new world order, it's all planned out. But guys, all I have for you, don't forget about the books, crypto teacher and the new world order book, plus the three kids books, it's time to re-educate. Also, new cryptos, Coinbase, BitChute, Binance, 
Do not forget book links and crypto links are in the description. The stock channel, guys. Don't forget to go like, subscribe, spread everywhere. If you have your Kobo, your chip size, your banking, your gaming, while everybody's sitting at home, get on stocks, the receiver, the biotech stocks, and while everybody's at home wishing, they were still getting that free money. What are they doing? Drinking and smoking weed. Don't forget about those stocks, and you have a wonderful day. The most powerful person in the world is the storyteller. The storyteller sets the vision, values, and agenda of an entire generation to come, Steve Jobs. And guys, you know I truly believe in this. When you look at the New World Order, they're the storytellers. And that's the reason why I wrote my New World Order book. But guys, now it's time to change the current generation. And I wrote three kids' books. You know I love the Trinity because I understand the power that's in it. So I have three books. We have an opportunity to change the generation, to educate not just me, but I want to show you that I take action on a daily basis. And I want you to take action on a daily basis. Whether it's your job, whether it's in your community, we have an opportunity right now to educate the masses. I posted this on my Twitter account. Please share, but this is a short clip of the three books. There's going to be a clothing line and action figure. Please get these books for your kids, nephews, cousins, friends, so therefore we can start the re-education now. Because as we see, the fourth industrial revolution foundation is definitely here. Robots, algorithms, drones, taking humanity out the picture. We have to re-educate. But let's get into the video. Part 1, King Yahshua and Grandma Tim, Save the Village. Part 2, King Yahshua and Grandma Tim, Save New York. Long COVID-33. Part 3, King Yahshua and Grandma Tim, Goes to China. It's mandatory to get Part 1, Part 2, and Part 3 of this series. It's time to re-educate Generation Z.